I look at her. And guess what? Nothing. Nothing. She's still not looking at me. Like, I, my hands are on her thighs. And I'm looking at her. I'm looking directly at her face. And she's not looking at me. If y'all haven't watched part one yet, make sure to go check that out before watching this video. Alright, so towards the end of part one, I was still at Essence in Julia's room when I got the text from this girl from my class who was somewhat like my tutor. And once I got the text, I left Essence in Julia's room and I was on my way to the other girl's room. Now, this other girl's name was Bria. But the reason why I had her name saved as tutor on my phone was because me and her both had the same class and I was kind of struggling with it and she was too so we pretty much both helped each other with the class. Plus I, I didn't even need the class to graduate college. I don't even know why they made me take that class so I, it was just one of those classes where I didn't take serious at all. So as I'm walking towards her apartment building I'm thinking to myself yo why am I walking to Bria's room late at night to discuss homework? <laughs> what? That's like Trump organizing a secret meeting with his people to discuss what the secret Krabby Patty formula is. Like, like, who does that? That would never happen. The same thing applies to my situation. Like, who meets up with a girl late at night and walks over to their apartment? to discuss a homework problem. Who? But honestly, I was bored, so I didn't mind going over to her room. I finally walk up to her door, and I see her opening the door, and she lets me in. I was talking to her and watching TV while she was still working on her homework assignment. She then looks at me and asks me if I had a girlfriend, and that she was just curious to know. Obviously, guys, she does not know that I'm a virgin at this point. As we're talking, one of my favorite childhood shows starts playing on TV. And if you know, you know. This show was addictive. And I could tell that was one of her favorite childhood shows too. Because as soon as that show came on, she turned off the lights, packed her bags, closed her textbooks, put her homework away, and she hopped on the bed with me. We're both on the bed, lights off, watching TV, and it's late at night. Late at night, mind you. Late at night, okay? Keyword there. Late at night, okay? I, I don't know how much I can emphasize that. My phone starts to ring. I answer the phone and immediately start talking code with my bro. Because you know when you're on the phone with someone and you don't want the person next to you to understand your conversation, that's when you talk in code. Now, our conversation went something like this. Hey, Steve, you told me you was going to Bria's room instead of hanging out with us. Did you smash? Bro, no. I still don't know what to do about the exam tomorrow. It's pretty hard. Maybe you could give me some tips. Steve, just grab her thighs, bro. Just be smooth with it. You're overthinking it. Thanks for the tip, bro. I'll just try again some other day. Another day? Steve, are you gay, bro? Y'all ever seen the movie, The 40-Year-Old Virgin? Well, I haven't either, okay? But I sure as hell did not want to go through that experience. Like I said earlier in my last video, society will clown any man for being a virgin. We continue watching the show and then my mind starts racing again. And then I start thinking to myself, hypothetically speaking, what if I did lose my virginity today? And what if I don't last long in bed at all? Or even worse, what if, what if? She asks me to eat her out and I go for it, right? And I start putting in my work. But then... This is 
exactly what some guys sign up for when they say they want a girl who's a freak freak i don't care who you are i don't care i was not gonna give head to no type of female unless you were my girl a few minutes go by and i managed to relax my brain and i place my hand over her thighs and then i look at her and guess what nothing nothing she's still not looking at me like I, my hands are on her thighs and i'm looking at her i'm looking directly at her face and she's not looking at me do, do, do y'all know how awkward that was i mean just imagine if you were placing your hands on a girl's thigh mind you you're a virgin and she's not looking at you so i look away then i look at her again and then she finally looks back at me. We both lean in and we start making out. And after making out for some time, I reach down in my pocket and I grab my protection. And from there, well, y'all know what happened next.